In uh, less than 10 minutes, let's see how you can create a free Prefect account, how it, you can connect to Snowflake and uh, run on Workflow. Uh, first of all, you may need a Snowflake account. You may start with a free 30-day free trial Snowflake account. I will use my own account here. Uh, it comes by default uh, with a Snowflake sample data uh, database share that uh, we will use for our sample. To create a new Prefect account, uh, which is a free account, you can use your uh, Google uh, account, for instance, uh, through SSO. I already signed up for one, but uh, let's do it again. If I will sign in with my Google account, okay. First thing you'll see, uh, you have to create a workspace. In this case, I will call it my workspace. Okay, we'll be back here in a while, but for now, let's switch to uh, our Python environment. Uh, you'll need to, to create three different files, so you don't actually need, I will use Visual Source Code here, but you don't actually need a development framework. What you'll need, first of all, is to install locally your Prefect library. So in a command line prompt, you will call pip install Prefect. I already did this before, so everything is here, Re requirement already satisfied. So I continue next with Prefect Cloud Login. What this does is it will create an uh, SSO token. Uh, it will authorize me, authenticate me, authorize me to use uh, the Prefect Cloud without passing uh, authentication parameters. Uh, so I am asked, okay, would you like to re-authenticate? Yes, in this case. And how? Log in with a web browser. Okay, I will do this. Just type enter. You go here. Authorize this login yeah, from your local host. I will not authorize this. Done. You can close this window. Next step, and last step actually of the setup, will be this uh, pip install Prefect Snowflake. This is a Prefect uh, connector for Snowflake, so each database connection will need a different connector. I already did this before, so never mind. Requirements already satisfied. So that's it for the setup. Right now, you have to create two different files, uh, create credential block, create connection block. The credential block will actually create a, a block of credentials for a connectivity to Snowflake. You'll pass the account name, your username, your password. Yeah, here it's nothing clear. For the connection block, basically you'll use the previous credentials, yeah, they, they will be loaded, and you'll specify the database, the schema, and the warehouse, the virtual warehouse you'll use for a, uh, as a compute engine. So, let's do this. We'll first run this file to create our credential block. I will use the clear suffix because I have the password in clear in another file that I obviously couldn't uh, <laughs> couldn't show you. You see, you have a warning here that uh, in my case, yeah, I have to ignore. Okay, and then I will create the connection block. Once again, it's the same warning that comes again and again, but how do I know that actually everything worked? If I you go into the, your Prefect account, Prefect Cloud account, you'll see the connector and the credential uh, blocks, you know, already created in the blocks menu. Mm -hmm. If you go, with, for instance, in the connector, you'll use the connector basically to uh, run your uh, workflow. You can see that you can actually edit or delete this information. Okay, back to our Python environment. This is all it takes to create a very simple workflow, in this case with a decorator flow, that will use actually two different tasks. The first task, get customers, get orders, yeah? So this is what is called from our flow. The first one will select 
and print the first three customers from the customer table and then the first three records from the order table. We will call this one with the snowflake connector that we created before. So basically, once again, all you need to do is to run this from the command line, to run this file from the command line. The same annoying warning in my case. It's very likely you'll not get this. You already, you already see that the first task was creating a run with the customers. I already had here the first three customers dumped, and then for the orders I had the first three orders in an array uh, dumped on screen. Everything is finished. How can I say right now that everything runs? So first of all, the flow will appear here. This is my flow. And the flow runs. So I already run it once. You can run it multiple times, but you you see that you can already zoom in, zoom out in the two different tasks of this workflow, and you can get all the other information from the logs. So this is it basically. Check in my description, you know, the the link to my uh, medium uh, post, and you have all the details here, and you can easily reproduce this on your own.